So I'm here with Trent and Siobhan, and we've been hanging out. Man, we just love meeting people. I mean, that's a big part of why we do what we do. And uh, I know you guys have been on the road over a year. How long? We celebrated a year on the 15th. Yeah. It's a big deal. I mean, um, did you, I know for us, our first six months was the roughest. Did you seem to have sort of a breaking in period or did it? We, we decided to go the, <laughs> the hardest route possible. And we don't recommend this to anybody. We bought our RV in January. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of 2016 and moved into it right away and then to add injury upon insult because i've never driven anything this big we've got a 40 foot class a four travel and uh never been in rving or anything we uh we moved to michigan to spend winter in an rv with our family of seven <laughs> well, that was, yeah so that was really that was really difficult because um part of Part of our story is we're musicians. We we travel around and uh, serve at churches and things like that. But um, so on two weekends out of the month, we would be leaving where we were. So you know we were at a we were at a KOA for a while, and they didn't plow their roads because they're kind of usually like dirt gravel roads or something. Uh -huh. Um, so it was just a sh solid sheet of ice. Oh my gosh. And he would start pulling out of our spot. You get those class A's. They, <laughs> they don't do well on ice. And when no. you stop, it's like the motorhome says, no, we're not going to stop. <laughs> it's like we're going to keep going in the direction that you pointed this thing. <laughs> doesn't matter how much you turn the wheel and you're yeah. fear for your life. You got white knuckle driving. And, oh. and I'm standing outside oh. trying to like direct him out. And my I'm heart like, just like <gasps> shakes even thinking of the times that we were in Michigan trying to drive in and out and yeah so the winter was kind of hard but then um then spring broke and it, it wasn't so bad because we were stationary in one place the first six months we were just kind of there at the church we'd go out on weekends yeah but it wasn't anything like what we're doing now full-time travel mm -hmm. so I think that our biggest like that was six months those are those our first six first months six was months. in Michigan yeah but then I think that that reality kind of hit when after that um, interim job that we were doing was done and we actually got full time on the road, man, that's when it got tough because yeah. then we're out on the road, There's we're a whole lot traveling more, more and it, I yeah, don't know. So, it just... so basically what she's saying is our first six months was us learning about living in an RV. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But we still had community around us, we still had family around us. Um, kind of had our home base mm -hmm. <laughs> then the next six months was like a whole new learning curve that so what was, was the toughest part the next six months when you had to start moving around I mean what was the toughest part of that part of the journey I think it was the lack of community yeah lack that's, of yeah. community that's that the was biggest a big thing because we hadn't made the connection with other full-time families yet mm -hmm. and so we just kind of felt uh, I, I wouldn't even say alone because obviously we have our kids and stuff, She's but there's just something to like adult interaction. Here's some community here. <laughs> you say hi, wave at the camera, Olivia. We've made that a real goal for 2017 is to spend more time with the community, kind of slow down. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're still going to travel, still going to see places, but we really want to emphasize the community aspect of it because that's something that could really be missing. I mean, I think that was something that surprised us though. We were excited about this because we thought, oh, we'll get to spend more family time together. We'll get to travel. We'll get to see the country. But we never, like, really had a lot of emphasis on, oh, we'll get to meet all these new people. And that didn't ever hit us until we started meeting all these wonderful people. And we're like, no, this is what makes yeah. traveling so awesome is yeah. the people that you meet. I think that was a surprise to us because we just thought we would, like, keep moving and be so nomadic that we wouldn't really build relationships, but it's just surprised us how important that is in your journey. Well, we're both, I know it's weird because we talk to the camera all the time, but we're both introverts. So <laughs> I think we kind of thought that, hey, we're cool with it being just us and Hensley, and, you know, yeah. if we run into somebody, that's great. But if you don't make that intentional effort to run into somebody, I mean, when we're going to state parks and out in the middle of nowhere in the woods, I mean, we're not running into that many people. I think that's the natural process of a full-timers you know is that like you kind of start with this short-term goal and you want to see the sites mm -hmm. you know you want to yeah, see yeah. stuff and get pictures of it and do a video of it but it really does just season that pot even more when you can do it with people you know in the RV community everybody kind of has this like degree of like acceptance uh -huh. like there's this kind of like 
I get you kind of thing, no matter if you're really wealthy or you're not that wealthy, what kind of rig you have, what kind you don't have a very good one. <laughs> yeah. even, there's, there's this acceptance that says like, we all have to change the black tank and so because of that, I can't judge you. Some people do it with you an know? iPad. Some people have to get out there. I saw, that. I saw in that rig you guys are looking at. Time to do the black tank again. iPad. I'm like, what? So they don't have to pull a lever? I don't know. I, there's something. I mean, you got to hook it up. Unless it's, yeah. I don't know. You I got know, a robot or something comes out. But... It was That's people that you would never really meet unless you were living this lifestyle, though. Right. You know, if we right. were still in our True. sticks and bricks in our same community, doing the same thing every day we wouldn't be meeting these new people that we're meeting so it's right. this journey that like brings us across the country to meet so many different people as far as a tip and a trick if you're an rver and you kind of look for that community and you desire it too we have this propane fire pit it's just a real quick like fire it looks nice it's comfortable and it makes it really easy to invite somebody and say hey you want to come over and just yeah. have some coffee and, and have a fire that's been really awesome for us. And um, another thing I always try to ask is, you know, how do you guys have the money to stay on the road? I mean, so we are musicians. Um, we play in churches mostly. Um, we do house shows, and we have our album sales and stuff that does that keeps us sustained. Um, honestly, the pa the biggest um, supporter for us, and not everybody else can, not everybody can do this, and it's unique to us, but we are missionaries on the road and so we have churches that support us and individuals that support mm -hmm. us as a ministry the other thing too for us is we live really simply mm -hmm. uh, and we keep our costs really low something we've talked about on our channel is like our grocery budget we have a yeah. 300 dollars grocery budget that we kind of challenged ourselves with because for how long for a, a month. month no way <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you do that we well, do. we've been talking about increasing it to 400 but for the past two months, yeah, we've done a $300 We need to talk. For, <laughs> for a family of seven, yeah. That's awesome. It's the Instapot, Marissa. Oh, that thing's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> when you're it an really RVer, does. you it have to learn the Instant Pot. It's like it, the RVers. <laughs> well, here's, here's a few things. Like for our family, we do pancakes and we do oatmeal that keeps our breakfast budget really low. Um, we do lots of rice meals at night. Rice and beans. And we beans. stretch things. And that helps to stretch the budget a lot. And you can throw <laughs> a, a bunch of just russet potatoes into your oh, yeah, Instant Pot. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Cook them up and then, you know, in a few minutes you just like slice them open, throw some sour cream and cheese and whatever broccoli or anything else you want to put in there and it's just a cheap and easy meal it's just potatoes stuffed potatoes yeah we're uh so. yeah we're gonna have to talk <laughs> we're a bit off from 300 a month we, <laughs> yeah i was like is that 300 a week yeah like, like a week yeah well, for a family be, of seven I mean. yeah for a family of seven we used to feel like we were really tight on our grocery budget when we would do i think we did like 800 a month and then 200 for a restaurant yeah and it was like we a were thousand over a thousand, bucks a thousand dollars uh, before and um and so there's some lifestyle changes that we've had to make. Like we love good food. I mean, like yeah, we, we're we we're actually food snobs. Food. We're food snobs. <laughs> but, uh, but again, like part of our journey is learning to live simply, so other people could simply live. And that's what we say all the time: is that we want to be um, practicing what we preach. Mm -hmm. um, and the kids don't seem to mind. I appreciate the walkers letting us talk to them. And I mean, man, you can learn from everybody you meet, and that's what we love. And we've loved talking to you guys, oh, and I really yeah. appreciate the time. We've learned yeah. a ton from you guys, too, so <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. these meetups are um, great. But definitely check out their channel. Uh, maybe you can put some more of those grocery secrets on there. Yeah. <laughs> Should we sing for them? Yeah, that channel? would be great. So one of the things that we always say on our channel, and, and we really believe with all of our heart, it's kind of the mantra that we live by. We say, we believe we can make the world better. And I say, I believe we can. My brother, my sister, lend a helping hand. We can make the world.